I've literally read hundreds of books about business, investing, sales, marketing, you name it. I've read every book that actually matters to my business and growing it to eight figures. But the common thing I run into with all of these books and the actual truth of the matter is so many of them are completely useless. Aren't you just tired of picking up a book, you start reading it and you just don't get anywhere? In this video, I'm gonna share with you three books I found valuable to my success. And the thing about these three books, why I like them so much is that Literally every single page, every single paragraph, there's something of tremendous value. None of these books are books where you're gonna pick things out. Maybe you get one piece of value from the entire book overall. But actually with all three of these books, I find that from cover to cover, every single paragraph, every single word put together is extremely valuable and I've found to be extremely useful when growing an eight figure business. And I've actually used the same principles in all three of these books to grow both of my eight figure companies, grow my seven figure investment stream. And I'm gonna share exactly what those books are with you, the titles, the authors, and where you could go and actually find them. Because in this video, we're literally going to dive into a actual live training I did for my private funding clients. I have a program where I help individuals access 50 to over $150,000 of 0% interest business credit. And within this program, sure, we work one-on-one -on -one with people and help them get access to funding. But another thing that we do is we actually have daily mastermind. And this is actually one of the sessions that we did inside of that daily mastermind. So this is going to be a small clip from that mastermind of me sharing the three valuable books that actually contributed the most to my success. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, sorry, just answering more of a personal question for someone. So Cool. So let's jump into this, guys. I get this a lot on, on many different masterminds. And I've personally read so many books on business and investing and really how to be successful. And to be honest, most of them are really, they really have a couple of gems in it for the most part. And the entire book itself is not exactly valuable. Maybe there's a couple of small things that you could pull out of each book that you can really take with you and run. And this list that I put together here, these three books are honestly, I don't think I'd be anywhere close to where I am today if I didn't have all of the contents in each of these books. So like literally it, to its entirety, these are the three books that honestly mattered the most for me from cover to cover, not just like one sentence, one paragraph out of like a 200 page book. But I mean, every single page in this 200 page book literally mattered to my success. And honestly, I think a lot of people here are going to be able to take this stuff away with them and be able to use it in some kind of way. Um, maybe for some people, one out of three books, um, but definitely at least one of the books I know is going to be applicable to everyone. Well, two of them are a little bit more specific to me, but one of them is... Um, one of those two is definitely applicable to everyone. So I'm going to start off with the first book here. So, and I, I want to, you know, get the covers so that way everyone could actually search them up and identify them if they want to add them to their bookshelf. So the first book I really want to talk about is uh, Big League Sales and Closing Techniques, uh, Sales Closing Techniques by Les Dane. So this book is actually no longer published. And it's not published anymore because there is a specific organization, which we'll actually dive into later. It's the third book. And um, there's a specific organization that got their hands on this book and distributed it to all of their members. And because it was so effective and it was so powerful and it was like the go-to sales Bible for this organization, there was actually someone who purchased the publishing rights to the book and discontinued publishing it. So this book is literally no longer published. And that's why there's some books here that are literally $400. If you want an original copy of this book, I do have PDFs of this book and I don't mind giving it away for you guys. Um, just between me and you, <laughs> but, um, but the, the thing about this book, I mean, the thing that I value about it from cover to cover is that it's not going to necessarily go into communication tactics. And if you guys know me and you've been to many of these masterminds already, I talk a lot about how sales is important. I used to think it was so icky. And after the mastermind, I'll send you guys a PDF. I'll, I'll just write a quick email. I have it open. 
on another screen. I'll, I'll send this to you guys after the mastermind. But um, the thing about this book from cover to cover, it's not necessarily going to teach you how to communicate. The third book, the third, I, I'm not, I don't want to kick it off with the third book. I want to end it with the third book. But the third book is just absolutely, you guys are going to be so shocked when I get to the third book. It's absolutely nuts. But knowing these two books, like first are, I, I'm really happy with the order I picked to, to, to demonstrate and describe these. Because this book is going to teach you everything about closing and um, like actually finalizing the deal, which this is so important for anyone who's doing um, an earned income stream or a passive income stream. Even if you're just like investing and you're not doing anything at all and you just have your money sitting in some kind of hedge fund or some kind of ATM or some kind of fund, right? Where your money's just sitting there, even if it's in a real estate fund. I mean, this stuff is actually super important, especially when it comes to locating new opportunities, closing clients, no matter what it is, because I could talk about it in many different scenarios, but it's just overall extremely important when it comes to closing the deal and actually just finalizing the final terms and getting someone to actually move forward and handling people, even handling people in your day-to-day -day life. I mean, there's stuff in here that I use when I run into like a fight with uh, with a family member or fight with um, like a girlfriend or a fight with, um, you know, like a brother or like literally anyone or someone on the street. Like it could literally be anyone, guys. And there's just strategies I've used in this book that have completely changed the way of how I solve problems. And this could be literally any scenario guys i mean who doesn't want to solve problems and these books literally teach you like frameworks on how to solve problems there's two objections that you'll ever run into with people right and you could even run into this with your family member maybe you're taking this program and there are family members that think that you're absolutely crazy i know i ran into that when i was um buying programs online for the first time learning how to make money and trying to do all these things by myself you know, one of the main object, like there's two objections and ultimately there's, there's only ever going to be two things that you're ever going to run into. Number one is going to be something called a scaredy cat objection. And number two is they call it in the book, a bona fide objection, but I'm going to use simpler terms and call it a legitimate objection. Cause there's either, you either do two things. You either change your reasoning or you keep it the same. There's literally only two paths you can go. You could either change your reasoning over and over, which signals that you're scared, even if you don't know it, right? Some of you may be going like, oh, you know, like I've had this objection before, but when you dig deep down and when I explain it a little bit more, it'll make a lot of more sense. Um, and then when people keep it the same and that one's this one, the legitimate objection is a lot more difficult to overcome because someone literally has something standing in their way. And, and the way it should be explained, if someone like maybe you're arguing um, with your wife or maybe you're arguing with a coworker, or maybe you're arguing with just someone, maybe just think of a time where you were arguing with someone and they kept something the same. It's genuinely like that's genuinely the reason why they may not move forward with something. And regardless of whether it's a sale, I don't even want to talk about it if it's a sale because I didn't realize how I used to be disgustedly grossed out by sales. I thought it was terrible. I thought it was the worst thing in the world. And I had no confidence in communication or anything like that. And once I realized how I could use these techniques to solve problems in my life and just better my communication and better my relationships with people, that's when I became more interested in it because who doesn't want that? What genuine good person doesn't want that? That's why I would, that's why this is the number one book. This is the first book I'm talking about because it ultimately taught me how to solve problems in my life with people um, where I had no framework in the beginning. And now I can actually communicate on a higher level with people. So back to this legitimate objection is you'll literally run into people that are like, hey, look, I really, 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 really want to go to this baseball game. Like, don't get me wrong. I really, 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 really want to go but I have this family event and I can't like get out of it. Like, and, and it just becomes the same reason over and over. The way that you handle this is you listen to the clothes. You listen to them to talk themselves out of it. And then you also listen, and then you also offer like a suggestion here and there. 
here and there, right? Like, oh, you think that, you know, with the with your family event, do you think you just catch the tail end of it or go for the beginning? You know, and you're and you're essentially helping them solve their problem and they talk themselves into solving their problem. That's one route. The scaredy cat is when they're just changing their reasoning. And ultimately, the reason why, and ultimately, if they change their reasons, like, oh, you know what? I don't have the money to actually do this. Like, I don't know if I can actually do this. Even if it's like a personal training program. Say we're selling a personal training program. Oh, yeah, I don't really have the, the, the money to do this, to be honest with you. And this is like a health offer. This isn't even a wealth offer at all. Well, you know, I understand that you don't really have the money to really do this, but that is actually like a great reason why you should do this because by getting into physical shape, it's going to help you tackle problems in your day. And especially if you're involved in commission work, maybe it's going to actually help you make more income. Oh yeah. Well, you know what? I think I need to, you know, sleep on it and, um, you know, um, talk it over with my wife and really see, you know, what she thinks about it. Oh yeah, totally. I totally understand that you want to have agreement with your wife, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, don't you both agree that, you know, you like you want to be a lot more healthy, you want to be a lot more fit? Yeah, I, I think that she would agree that that's a good thing for me. Well, that's exactly the reason why you should actually move forward with this, because it's going to put you in better shape and your wife is going to be extremely happy with you. Right. And and you see kind of how it's being handled and how it makes sense. So th that's just like a small little snippet of the book. Ultimately, I have. <laughs> I have people that are saying, can I get a PDF and can I, um, yeah, I have, I have a lot of good comments on it. Um, and yes, when, yeah, so, yeah, there's, there's a lot in this book, guys. There's so much in this book, like how to press the go button, you know, how to like, sometimes like, you know, maybe you run into like, uh, like a call or something with like, um, and, and usually you run this into this with genuinely good people. You know, maybe um, you're you're scared to ride a motorcycle or something like that. I'm not sure. Or like you've all, actually no. Let's use skydiving as an example. You always wanted to go skydiving in your life. You always wanted to jump out of a plane, right? And this is a scary thing to do sometimes. I've done it three times, and every time I get goosebumps. It's <laughs> it's pretty scary, right? But say you really, really, really want to go skydiving, and by the time you get there, you're like, Nah, I'm not going to do this. This is crazy, right? Now there's like this thing called the go button where, um, you know, maybe someone's trying to handle you on these things and you're coming up with all these reasons like, nah, I'm not going to do it. Now nah, I'm gonna, not going to do it. But there's this thing called the go button. And basically it's reminding people of their reason to do it. And this is like a next level up. Like if you could press their go button and be like, hey, you know, like, I, I, like go skydiving. Guess what? Oh no. And then the guy goes, oh, you know what? No, you just want me to go skydiving. You just want me to jump out of a plane. Like, you know, like you, you, it's all, it's all about you. You just want me to do this. Like, it's not even like, you know, you just want to make your commission or blah, 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 blah. Right. But ultimately what you say there in that scenario is you press their go button and you say, well, I understand like, look, sure. There's like some incentive to me, you know, doing this. Like I get a funny video of you jumping out of the plane. That's hilarious. But at the end of the day, you've been talking about this your entire life. And remember, this was your idea to do it. And I'm just trying to help you follow through on your idea. And you make it their idea again without making them wrong. And th this is like a lot of sales stuff, very, very, very fast. So, <laughs> so um, this is a very advanced book. And you're definitely going to want to understand like a basic sales framework before you jump into it. But I really, 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 really wanted to talk about this book because it's just really freaking powerful and this information is just not out there online like there's no one who's using this and it's used by an organization that frequent that has done billions and billions and billions of dollars of sales and donations and it's just so powerful you just need like a really solid framework with it because this really handles this stuff at the tail end of the sales call and um the rest of it is not really covered. Like the beginning is not so much covered. This is like a pure closing book, like getting the sale at the end of the call. So um, this one is um, super, super, super valuable. So let's move on to the second book. And any questions I'm just gonna save for the end while I just jump through the a bunch of these. So the second book, um, this one's definitely a little bit more personable to me, but is especially relevant to 
people in um, the online space who want to grow online businesses, online service businesses, um, information services, right? All these different types of online programs is called Dot Com Secrets by Russell Brunson. And he's uh, the founder of ClickFunnels. Everyone who's here right now has gone through a ClickFunnels website because the way that this is designed is he came up with the concept of a funnel where you pull in all these people here and they opt in. And before that is actually an ad or just some kind of attention grabber, um, an opt-in, a VSL, like a sales video, um, a call or like whatever. And there's so many different types of funnels, but this ultimately leads to sales, right? And I mean, this is just really important in many different ways, even if you make passive income, because you could still use this concept right here to draw investors in, to draw people towards your own personal brand. I mean, this this really just set up the entire way the online industry is completely shaped. And that's why I put it on this list, because if it weren't for this book, and I really haven't gone through it cover to cover, although I know that all the contents that need to be there are there, like every single page like needs to be read in this book, not just like bits and pieces of it, but entirety of itself it really just covers the concept of, you know, building a successful personal brand, building a successful business, whether you're interested in earned income or passive income, this really teaches you how to take people who are just like completely brand new to you, have no idea who you are, to taking them to, you know, a connection inside of your network or a high paying client. And knowing how to really master this and, you know, reach a large group of people and whittle them down to a small group of people is an extremely valuable concept. So that's why I have this book here, too, because this is an extremely valuable book that anyone could get. And it definitely captures a lot of, you know, online stuff and building your brand and also just how to really draw people in, like, legitimately. So those I would say are like two of my favorite kind of applicable like sales and marketing books. Um, these are definitely like th this isn't, gonna, well, this book isn't going to necessarily teach you like Google ads, but it is going to teach you how to create a successful ad. It's not going to teach you how to target people or anything like that, but eh, maybe a little bit. It's going to teach you a little bit about crafting your offer and how to speak to people and how to do hook story offer and stuff like that, which is basically like your first five seconds of anything you say is a hook. The rest of it is like some kind of story or some kind of opinion. And then the end is ultimately um, some kind of call to action, right? Which is extremely valuable to anyone here, especially if you're just only interested in investing. Well, if you want to find more investments, you know, these two things combined together, sure, it's a skill a little bit to learn. You don't have to be perfect at it, but you're going to at least know how to lock yourself into deals and how to attract them as well just by using funnels. And by knowing how to close out a sale or close out a deal and get it done and get it finalized. So these are like two of my top, these are like my top two books right here. Like, well, they probably fall two and three on the list compared to this next book that I'm going to explain to you guys. And guys, this one, I'm going to give you a heads up. It's definitely going to be a little bit more controversial and people are going to be like a little bit taken back. But I have to say, just from a completely, um, I guess my opinion is a little bit biased, but when I was first introduced to this author, um, I honestly had no clue who this person was. I was just completely like blind to it. And I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but I'm going to be completely honest. Like if it weren't for the, the strat, the concepts and the strategies in this next book, um, I definitely would not be anywhere close to where I am today. I would definitely just not have the discipline. I would not have the focus. This is definitely more of a mindset and how to act in real life book. Um, it reinforced the values and the life lessons like my parents taught me at an early age on how to be respectful, how to treat others the way that you want to be treated. All these very, 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 very important values were ultimately reinforced into me after reading um, this person's books. And, um, you know, and there's so much more that I even learned after just reinforcing just general lifelong lessons and lifelong values that I've been able to instill because of this book. So 
my parents didn't tell me about this. My, my friends didn't tell me about this. I learned about this through just being in the business world and working with like my, my first ever mentors. And if it weren't for having that experience, I definitely would not be as far along as I am today. So this third book, guys, without further ado, this one's definitely going to be a little bit more controversial, but it's called Introduction to Scientology Ethics by L. Ron Hubbard. So I want to kind of jump into, though, everything that this book actually covers. It, it really goes over the definition of communication, which I obviously talk so much about. Um, it goes over different formulas for living. So different ways, like if you're running into a scenario in your life, how to act. Like when you meet someone in person, they have something called like a non-existence formula, where when you meet someone for the first time, um, this is these are the steps that you do. And, and you've honestly, everyone here has been doing it their whole life. It sounds really crazy. And, um, but there's so much stuff in here that I've been able to essentially apply in my business. It's given me so many answers. Like whenever I get into a fight with someone, you know, there's there's reasons to it. I, like like I don't want to get too deep into like the con like the content because it's a lot better to read it for what it is as opposed to someone regurgitating the information to you. But I could go like I don't think I have the book next to me, but I mean it has just so much stuff in here, guys. I mean, this literally taught me just responsibility. It taught me like how to handle responsibility how to act with good ethics, you know, it really reinforced genuine true values that make sense and, you know, teach you how to act in society without being a fool and how to keep your composure and how to be a good, well-rounded human being. And that's all of what these kinds of, all of his books are really about is how to be a lot more able of a person and cope and cooperate and deal with society on a much more mature and professional level. And, um, I mean, and handle situations in your business. I mean, there's so many of these formulas that we apply inside of our team that allow our stats to continuously rise. Like we're continuously able to go from, you know, enrolling 20 clients a month to enrolling 200 clients a month. And a lot of it was just applying a lot of these formulas that, um, you know, we were told what to do. Like if this happens in your business, like you get a downtrend, then you need to do this. If you experience like an uptrend, you need to do this and applying those things, you know, and these are especially relevant, especially in some, some corporate companies, maybe they don't have them as well laid out as if someone were to get their hands on this book. This is also where I learned my organizational chart, like how to structure my company and make it an eight figure business. I learned basically how they ran their organizations and how each department flows from one department to the next department. I mean, these are, I'm going to be honest, guys, this is like the secrets to like building a extremely successful business and never having to work another day in your, your life doing something that you hate. Like there's so much I could really say that I've learned through that, that if I didn't learn these things, um, there's absolutely no shot that I would know as much as I do about business. I didn't learn anything in college about business that I, I use today. Honestly, there's nothing from college that I've learned that I use in my business today. And I've graduated college, and that was when I had no idea how to do business at all. That was when I had no idea what sales was. Um, not even the marketing class was valuable in college. Nothing, like that was just a waste of money. I'm just going to be completely honest. I had great memories, maybe it wasn't a waste of money. I definitely don't regret spending money on college because those experiences ultimately built me into the person I am today. And if it weren't for those experiences, maybe I would have had a different path and maybe I wouldn't be here. But everything I really like got my jump start in in business and how I learned how to be a successful communicator and how I learned how to organize my company and how I learned to do everything with my business ultimately stemmed from the same principles that this organization uses to run their organization. So it's definitely a more controversial book uh, for sure, but um, I definitely wanted to cover it because it's extremely valuable and I highly recommend anyone really dive into it and see it for themselves as opposed to the propaganda that's out there and ultimately have the opportunity to go in there open-minded and 
really just you know like see for yourself because all it all it's really about is helping you become more able as a as a person that's all it's done for me um i'm not like you know i don't practice it like every day um if anyone knows about that here i don't really practice it every single day but i've used so many of the tools to completely change my life my um like everyone around me their lives and if it weren't for these principles these concepts of how to act ethically and really have that reinforced and reminded to myself um it definitely changed my life forever and so this book is probably my number one book that if i had to be you know buried in a grave and i can only take one book with me it would honestly be this book and i'd honestly maybe even keep it above ground so that way someone else can read it because it's that valuable of a book like I wouldn't even be selfish to take it with me because that book really needs to be in the hands of everyone. And I know the world would be a better place if everyone knew the the things, the contents contained in that book. So there's so much in that one book that literally taught me everything I really needed to know about business and just how to, it taught me how to handle ethical situations inside my company. You know, when people act out and people don't produce and people leave people on red or people, you know, get frustrated on a sales call, people get frustrated on a client success call, you know, being able to use these principles to actually make a change in that person's behavior. Absolutely life-changing guys. And there's not really many books that, that honestly can, I can say really can do that from cover to cover and really give you the information that you need. So enough ramble about the book. Those would be my three, um, my top three books that I would honestly um, by far say are like my most valuable books by far. And if it weren't for these books, um, I would not be anywhere near where I am today. So Definitely want to open it up to Q and A, get people's thoughts, and see um, what they um, what they have to say about all of this. Maybe is there any extra book suggestions I should talk about? I'll also, jump into any of the the funding business investing questions now as well.